What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Virtue Bowling Supply comparison ball review video featuring Specto. Today we are going to be featuring the new Hammer Effect thrown by Mike Jones, an up and coming young player, bowls for GCU, two handed player, a lot of power. We did not have two of this bowling ball to have a straighter player as well, uh, but Mike's going to give us a lot of insights and we're going to hear a lot about how it compares to his absolute and infinite physics. Let's check it out. Just the alley, or if it's actually the ball. I'm gonna compare it to my absolute, my infinite physics, and see how they both play out. I just threw the absolute, and it does not hook as much, even though it's hit for 1500. I thought it would hook more. It did not. I had to move two board, three boards right. I had to go from 28 to 25. Um, so the hammer effect definitely hooks harder. So we will see if the infinite physics can do better or worse. See if, if I have to move right or left from the absolute. Probably right. So I'll probably be standing 20. for five shots compared to the absolute like uh, five board move compared to the uh, hammer effect it was an eight board move so being two ace some pearls you think they play similar but nah hammer effect definitely got it by the cake yeah. so the ball hooks way more than i know so i love yeah. it my final rating for the hammer effect if we go from a scale on one so that ball is really good I'm probably going to give it that ball is really good. Yeah. Um, the ball does everything that I need it to. Um, if you're a two-hander, one-hander, you can be anything. You want a ball to wheel. That ball right up. A-okay. That ball will go left. Um, the ball, you do have to stand far left. Um, you can't get that much right with it because it will go left. So if you are a straight player, you could get the ball so it can hook more for you. But if you got a lot of rim, like a lot, you don't need a ball to hook too much for you, that ball is not sure good. But you can go 40 and loft it and it'll definitely come back. <laughs> so it's all on you. Like, but me personally, I'm definitely replacing my absolute with that. Um, because I need a ball that hooks. I went to the Hoosier or the college tournament and nothing hooked. We had, the, we had a great time. But ball reaction, poof. Um, so that ball is definitely going to give me more of an opening. And whenever I need to open my angles, that ball will fit in perfectly. So that's what Mike thinks, but what does the Specto data say? So what you'll see here is we have the first five shots with the hammer effect, the second five shots, and then the absolute and the infinite physics. If we look at the lane graphic, we can see that the infinite physics he was the furthest right with, absolute a little left from there, and then the hammer effect left from there. And you can also see that that correlates with the change of direction numbers with the infinite physics having the least amount of change of direction than the absolute and then the hammer effect above that. And now a really important thing to note here is that even though the infinite physics was further right and he was more in the dry, you still see significantly less speed loss 
from the infinite physics and the absolute uh, in pretty much almost all parts of the lane as the hammer effect. And what you also notice is on the five shots of the hammer effect where it slowed down a lot more in the front part of the lane, you can see that it was because he was projecting it a lot more to the right on those five shots. And so even when he did get it into the dry sooner, like he did with the infinite physics, you saw significantly more speed loss. So you are seeing all of the signs here of a bowling ball that is much stronger than the other two bowling balls. You're seeing it in change of direction, you're seeing it in the lane play graphs, and you're seeing it in the speed loss, despite whether he is further left in the oil or getting it into the dry quicker. You'll also notice that the five shots with the hammer effect that does not slow down as much in the front part of the lane end up slowing down much more in the back part of the lane, which again is communicating that the hammer effect's ability to slow down is just much more significant than the other two bowling balls. Which hammers home the thing that we will constantly be talking about in these comparison ball reviews with Specto data, which is that the key to good ball motion is the bowling ball slowing down. The only way it can consistently change direction is if it's consistently slowing down. We hope you found this video useful. As always, if you like videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.